Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our previous video where we were discussing about the male reproductive system. In our previous video, we have discussed about the structure of testes and the sectional view of testes, its parts and their functions. In this video, we will be discussing about epididymis and the full male reproductive system, the diagram and the parts and their functions. So uh, keep watching till the end because at the end everything will be there on the board. You can uh, note it down and it will be helpful for you for your notes. So starting up with the video, in our previous video we have already, uh, we already discussed that the sperms they are produced in seminiferous tubules. From seminiferous tubules they move to rete testis from where it goes to vas afferentia and from vas afferentia it moves to epididymis. Now epididymis is the part where the sperms they are stored for 18 to 24 hours why are they stored because here during this time they attain maturity that means they become motile attaining maturity means becoming motile why because generally the sperms they are not motile they uh, when they are formed they are just a single cell and then uh, uh, after remaining in epididymis for 18 to 24 hours they uh, they attain that middle piece and the tail and become motile so that is why they have to be there for attaining maturity now the structure of epididymis if we see the structure of epididymis this is the testis we have done the structure of testis here we have the red day testis and here we have the vas afferentia which will now end up in this structure this part is the head the body and the tail it's a bit rounded okay so this part is the head the body and the tail now I'll give you the names. This is known as caput epididymis. Caput epid. I'll just write epi for epididymis. This is corpus epididymis. And the last part is corda epididymis. Corda you must have heard about caudal fin. Caudal fin is the rare fin of the fish. So that's given for the tail actually. So corda epididymis the tail corpus epididymis the body and head the caput epididymis so these are the parts of the epididymis the diagram drawn here is epididymis sperms remain here for 18 to 24 hours and become mature and motile now starting off with the male reproductive system as we all know we all already know that in the male reproductive system we have the main uh, a pair of testes which are located in thin skin of scrotum fine I'll just I'll make thoda sa enlarged because so that it's easy for you to understand the making then we have the epididymis here From the epididymis arise this tube here also. From the epididymis arises this tube. It's a tube, so we'll make two. We'll make two tubes we'll give a gap here yeah so and make the scrotum fine so uh, here we have this gap and then they end up thoda sa I just need to squeeze them because here I need to make the urinary bladder as well so I'll just squeeze it up a bit yeah and this yeah 
and this fine so we have the other tube now these are the structures i'll explain this part first the scrotum the testis epididymis then the vas deferens which becomes coiled and start moving here we have left the space for this bulged part known as ampulla from where the accessory gland seminiferous tubules arise this accessory gland will be here on both the sides this is seminal vesicles now here we have this part connected to uh, i'll just narrow it down okay so this part here we have the urinary bladder it's a much bigger part but still i'll i'll just make this one urinary bladder and this part now moves down and ends up in the urinogenital aperture okay the urinary genital aperture is here i'll just find the penis okay so this is the part and we have uh, some more labelings here but i'll explain these first and then i'll we'll start labeling this is scrotum testis here we have epididymis then this is vas deferens this is seminal vesicles and this is urinary bladder this point is known as urethra urethra this is the ejaculatory duct ejaculatory duct and now we have a donut shaped gland here which is going to cover or hide the connection of the urinogenital connection so this is this structure which is present over here ye iske upar matlab it's present over it agar isko main shade kar du if suppose i shade it to it covers everything here it's just like a covering over it fine so this gland is known as prostate gland prostate gland and we have two glands here at the opening of the penis known as cowper's gland okay so we have this male reproductive system here we have uh, i've made uh, i've labeled most of the parts the parts which are left i'll label label them this side this is the penis this is gland penis this is the foreskin and this is the urino genital aperture okay so now what happens the sperms are formed here in the testis stored in the epididymis move in the vas deferens and then we are when they are moving here when they reach here seminal vesicles pour their secretion over the sperms then they finally start moving in the ejaculatory duct and come to urethra when they are in urethra prostate gland also pours their secretion over them and then they start moving in the urinary genital duct when they move come here in vicinity to cowper's gland they also pour their secretion over the sperms and finally the semen is passed out through urethra urano genital aperture so what is semen semen is basically the semen is basically the secretion of seminal vesicles prostate gland cowper's gland plus sperms 
that is semen which is passed out from the male's body so this is the male reproductive system it's functioning its parts and their functioning in our next video we'll be uh, discussing about the secretion of seminal vesicle prostate gland and corpus gland and their main role which is played by them in the male reproductive system so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you